Uh, some friends of mine know that I'm a songwriter. No, you're not! <laughs> and they've asked me to uh, <laughs> write a uh, song for their children. Uh, it's nice to write children. And I thought, you know, um, the moms are celebrated, but dads aren't celebrated enough. So I wanted to write a song uh, celebrating the relationship uh, between dads and children. Or, or did I have an opposite wrong? Anyway, that's what I did. Um, uh, of course, the kids in the hall, um, we had a few dad issues. Um, we had a few dad issues. Um, I can still write a song like this, though. Um, all our dads uh, either were drunks to beat us, or one was like uh, beat us when he was sober. This is funny stuff, Kevin. Keep doing this. Uh, Mark's dad was a diplomat, and he never beat him, but he was emotionally distant. Yeah, get deeper with us, Kevin. This is... Uh, I remember uh, one time... We were in the Tarragon, we were waiting to, for rehearsal space, but the, the, the Shakespearean play we're still rehearsing, so we started telling horrible stories about our dads. Um, horrible stories. David and Bruce had a horrible stories. Um, I told a story uh, that later made the show, but I'll tell you again because it's quick. Um, where I came in one day when I was uh, 16 from high school, I was chubby and not so popular, and my dad was very drunk, and he came to me and said, Hey kid. How many girls called you today? Zero? How many girls called you yesterday? Zero? You know what zero times zero equals, don't you? Fag! <laughs> zero times zero always equals fag, my little gay mathematician. Scott's story wasn't funny, but I'm going to tell it anyway so you get the sense of um, His dad tried to run him over on the front lawn. He ran over the hedge. This is not funny. Um, and Scott was like trying to get the key open. So that's good. And then Mark... <laughs> It was Mark's turn, we all took her one dad's turn, and Mark said, uh, once, right in front of me, my dad fired my nanny. <laughs> I know pain is relative, and that's a bad thing. I'm just saying Mark should have opened with that. That's all I'm saying. It's painful, I understand it. Um, so here's the children's song. I've never performed this live, and believe it or not, the other songs I've done thousands of times, so this will be even worse. Sorry. <laughs> it's true. You know it's true, Alan. It won't count. <laughs> I learned from dad my one, two, threes, but he never taught me four. I never learned the D. My dad said that's enough. Numbers and letters for me. My dad explained birds, but not bees. He showed me sky, but only two of seven seas. He said, you don't need those five. That's too many seas. It's a hard, hard life. You marry, you're unhappy when you die. Alone like me. Who is free and has the time to Teach a son how to tell time and who can concentrate on the alphabet. My dad drank vodka and I can't tell time or read or count or swim. My dad taught me the ways of love. You sent a woman from God above But as the years go by You start to get annoyed That her favorite shows Are intervention and hoarders And the voice With Blake Shelton Anything you want to tell 
tell me that about the life ahead of me, even just how to drive a car. My dad went bankrupt and I can't do taxes, shake hands or use the phone. I would curse you, it's much worse to live a half life of regret. If I could reach you, well, I would teach you, you haven't taught me anything yet, so be a better dad. Even though you're dead. The car break! <laughs> My dad was taught by his dad, who in turn was taught by his scotch, and rum, and beer, and even methadone. Tonight. I hear the sound of happiness. Kids sneak into my shows all the time. All right, kids, this is for you. I want all the kids and the adults too to sing this line. If the words are my dad drank vodka, we're gonna do it twice, kids. All right, children, I know some eight year olds out there. My dad drank vodka twice. Are you ready? Where?